Hi, my name is Billy Trimbo with Cisco Tech. When using Java remotely over the Cisco Expressway's mobile and remote access feature, troubleshooting issues require a few initial steps before log collection can be done. Let's step through this process. Basically, the log collection for a Jabber issue will always require two steps, enabling detailed locking for Jabber and enabling debug locking for Expressway. After that, the steps for log collection will depend on the problem. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to collect logs for a Jabber phone issue. First, if you're using a Jabber mobile client, you will need to enable detailed locking as this is disabled by default. Once you're logged into Jabber, tap the avatar, tap settings, scroll down to problem reporting, then tap the slider for detailed locking. If you're experiencing a login issue, however, you won't be able to set detailed logging and it is not required. In this case, you can tap the diagnose error prompt and you will be given the option to send a problem report in the next screen. Enabling detailed locking is only necessary on a Jabber mobile client. The desktop clients are always on detailed level. Now, from the Expressway C server, navigate to Maintenance, Diagnostics, and Diagnostic Logging. Select Advanced Support Log Configuration. Here we will need to check the box on the left to select the following support logs. Developer.EdgeConfig Provisioning. Developer.XCP developer.xcp.cm and developer.xcp.jabber. If you have Expressway version 12.5.9 or lower, there is another support log called developer.edgeconfigprovisioning.uds that should be checked. If you're on version 12.6 as I am, you won't see it. Next, click the Set to Debug button. If you have a cluster, performing this on the master will also set the logging level to debug on the peers, but it is a good idea to verify each peer has copied the setting. For Expressway E, we are again going to Maintenance, Diagnostics, Diagnostic Logging, and selecting Advanced Support Log Configuration. Here we only need to find and select two support logs, Developer.EdgeConfig Provisioning, and developer.xcp. Click the Set to Debug button. Now click the Diagnostic link at the top right to go back to the Diagnostic Logging page on Expressway C. Check the Take TCP Dump While Logging option and perform this on the Expressway E as well. Again, performing this on the master C and E should replicate on all the peers in the cluster, but it's still a good idea to check. We'll wait until we're ready to click the Start New Log button. After these steps, the log collection will depend on the problem. In this example, I'm collecting for a phone connectivity issue, so I'm going to Communications Manager to set up detailed logging for the Call Manager service. Your TAC engineer may need logs from Presence or Unity also, depending on the problem. Now I'm ready to click Start New Log from the Expressway servers. At this point, I can reproduce the problem. Once it's done, I'm first going to stop the logs on Expressway by clicking the Stop Logging button. Now, let's quickly step through the collection. In Jabber, go back to the Problem Reporting menu and send the file to any email address. In Expressway, we're going to download the logs from the servers. And in Communications Manager, I will use the real-time monitoring tool to get the call manager logs.
Lastly, with the logs collected, it is very important that we set the expressway logs back to info level. Failing to do this will cause server instability. The easiest way to do this is to go back into the advanced support log configuration. Then click the select all button. Then click reset to info. Performing this step on both the C and E masters should replicate to the peers, but again, please check to make sure. And that's it. The logs collected can be uploaded to the case with the time and description of the error. Thank you for watching.